start a new uh, drawing file using our template and add the drawing information for this mule scale one to one for this one and add the project number 12.2 and add your name and what, what we're going to do we are going to create a detailed drawing of this part so we start with the base and the base usually comes in as xy parallel to xy and then accept this as a front view and then bring it to the proper location for for the front view and then project also we need um, side view but we don't need the side view just orthographic regular standard view we need sectional view so we create a section and make sure that you track the center of the hole to be placed for cutting plane line go through so just track that point as you notice then the point somewhere outside about quarter inch past the object line and right click and continue to to get the section view we notice that section view is a little bit smaller value to add all the dimensions is sometimes difficult so we add another detail enlarge detail view so that's very common practice creating the detailed drawings so um, let's go to first create the auxiliary view point him to the inclined face in this case to get the true shape and size so in scale we keep it one to one and then it select that edge that is inclined edge because you're going to look perpendicular to that face you're going to look perpendicular to that face as you see is aligned with that face and then accept that now notice that that those views are running to each other because it's aligned we cannot move so at this time we will break the alignment normally we want to keep the alignment if we have space available on but if not we can break so inventor does add another things for you when you break the alignment because that's the typical we know where it's coming from if otherwise if it was not aligned then we need to know where it's projected from so that's what we call view and plane line bb represents that you know we have cut and plane line aa next one is bb which is the what we call the view and plane line by placing that in the proper location so just move it adjust them as you need in this case it's too long you may want a little bit shorter and adjust it by just a little modification and that looks better now and also those texts we will change the text height but large so it takes more space so now once we have that now this view is too small we're going to create detail so click on the detail and then assign one uh, three to one three times larger default is two to one comes in and you change them to three to one and then um, make sure that you pick that portion what it does it looks kind of magnifies that portion so allows us to clearly add dimension to some area that is hard to see and that's a good practice okay let's do that and then place him and as you notice you can always come back and modify that detail the way you want to see which portion of that it's kind of it's a partial view of that section as you see you can move that uh, arc and you get uh, different portion of that as you adjust so in this case i'm going to just make it something similar what you see here but move farther and the top line you want to make sure the straight line and there's a break line automatically created showing basically that's partial and we can move the view and plane line a little bit farther so they don't cross each other so now that looks pretty good there and now we have done all the views that we need in this case maybe we want to add another uh, projected view from for create isometric but notice that this is not the proper because it has been cut that's why it's not giving you the full so how we will do that go to base and then under the base rather than accepting that change it to home view as you notice the home view gives you the isometric view and then of course you can change the shading for this view only make sure that orthographic views and details are not shaded only the isometric that would be option to to shade okay that 
is completed. Um, now we need to modify those texts that are a little bit too large. Uh, other than that, this is ready to add dimensions. So let's just do that. Uh, double click and highlight entire text and change the uh, text size to 0.125 from 0.18, which is a little bit large. And if it was a larger paper, that would have been fine. But the small sheet that we're using, a size paper, that's a little bit long text and takes too much space there. So you can do that for individual, each one, and then highlight and change the size. And you have completed the uh, detail layout. And the next step is to add dimensions. Check your uh, assignment sheet and, and your textbook, and then add necessary dimension as shows on the assignment sheet that completes our drawing.